Sony's bullet train was the global and international box office leader for the studios during its sophomore frame with an added $17 million from 61 overseas markets for an offshore come of $60 million and global riding the rails past $100 million for $114.5 million through Sunday. The international holdover markets dropped 40%, word of mouth is good and there's track ahead for the Brad Pitt star as Korea, Italy and Japan are still to come. Korea's Yonhap news agency this week dedicated a story to the fact that Pitt is due to visit the market for the first time in eight years, reportedly jetting in to promote the film later this week. France was the lead market on BT this weekend with $1.7 million, though locally Toye's one-piece film, Red caused a ruckus with what we hear was a number one start at $3.34 million. The French come on BT is $5.8 million. The UK is currently at $6 million. Mexico has grossed $5.4 million followed by Australia's $4.1 million and Saudi Arabia and Spain at $3.6 million each. The global IMAX come is $6.3 million. Related story Universal crosses $3 billion at 2022 global box office, first studio to milestone since 2019. Coming in second for the studios, Universal slash Illuminations Minions, the rise of Gru snatched another $10.8 million from 80 markets to lift international to $446.7 million and global to $790.4 million. This helped Uni cross the $3 billion mark at the worldwide box office during the session, and China is still to come on Friday, the previous Despicable Me franchise movie did a bananas $158.2 million there. For Gru and the crew, Japan jumped up by 5% this frame overtaking Sing 2 as the highest-grossing animated Hollywood movie of the pandemic with $24.8 million so far. Top grosses to date are in the UK, $46 million, Mexico, $38 million, Australia, $28.7 million, Germany, $27.8 million, and Japan. Ace Flyer Top Gun, Maverick remains in the top 5 globally this weekend, and at number 3 internationally for the studios with an extra $8.4 million from 64 offshore markets. This is the 12th weekend, for the Paramount slash Skydance Tom Cruise missile which has now grossed $704.2 million offshore and $1.378 billion worldwide. In IMAX, it is at $102 million. The overseas drop was 19%. In another case of Japan pitching upwards, TGM's weekend was 24% higher than last. The local gross is $82 million. Brazil also leaned higher with a 17% hike to capture $21.8 million to date. Overall market cumes are led by the UK, $97.2 million, Japan, Korea, $62.8 million, Australia, $61.6 million, and France, $52.8 million. Warner Brothers DC League of Super Pets added $7.7 .7 million in the third frame across 69 markets for a good 38% drop. The international come is now $51.4 million for $109.7 million global. Korea was new this session with $883,000 on 585 screens. 
coming in ahead of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 by 8%. Top markets to date are the UK, $9.9 million, Mexico, $5.5 million, France, $4 million, Spain, $2.9 million, and Germany, $2.3 million. Still to release are Japan later this month and Italy and Australia in September. Disney slash Marvel's Thor, Love and Thunder hammered out another $6.2 million from 48 material markets to bring the international total so far to $395.1 million and global to $720.5 million. The forkle saw a 46% dip from last session and has its highest grosses in the UK, $41.8 million, Australia, $29.3 million, Mexico, $28.3 million, Korea, $22.6 million, and Brazil, $21.8 million. Universal trotted out Nope this weekend in 19 overseas markets, generating $6.3 million to take the worldwide tally to $113.9 million. The UK debuted on Friday as director Jordan Peele's widest ever release in the market, taking $2.15 million at number 1. Australia, $1.25 million, and France, $1.12 million, followed. Also notable, Italy gave it a number one slot with $300,000 and Taiwan set the biggest opening day pandemic record for a horror-slash-thriller on Friday, ending the weekend at $200,000. Nope is on a staggered offshore release plan with Korea, Spain, Mexico, Brazil and Japan still to come throughout August. In general, we're seeing an overall ease with no new wide studio tentpole releases overseas during the final stages of summer, but there's action popping around the globe for local picks. China's Moon Man raised its come to 2.43 billion Chinese yuan, $360 million, through Sunday, including $15.1 million from IMAX. New China entry The Fallen Bridge opened to 122 million Chinese yuan, $18 million, after debuting on Saturday. In Korea, Squid Game star Lee Young Jae's directorial debut Hunt, which premiered in Cannes, bowed atop the chart there at $12 million. And, in Japan, One Piece film, Red continues its strong run, details to come on Monday. Miscellaneous updated Gume slash a notable. Jurassic World Dominion, UNI, $4.8 million international weekend, 86 markets, $601.4 million international cum slash $974.5 M global. Beast. UNI, $4.7 million international weekend, 30 markets, $4.7 million international cup. Elvis, WB, $2.8 million international weekend, 69 markets, $120.2 million international cum slash $261.5M global. The Black Phone, UNI, $1.5 million international weekend, 75 markets, $65 million international come slash $152.7M global. Where the Crawdads Sing, SNY, $1 million international weekend, 4 markets. $14.8 million international cum slash dollar 87 m global. Denotes new.